Okay, so signing into Borderlands today, I was welcomed by an unexpected update. I think it's the same size on both PS4 and Xbox, around 7 or 8 gigabytes. Now, I looked on the Gearbox website, couldn't find any information on this update. But I've actually figured it out Raiders and what it actually away. is. And it's for the Bloody Harvest event, which drops later today. Today being the 24th, Thursday, October. Uh, it's currently 2 p.m. UK time, me recording this video. I think it will come around 6 or 7 p.m. UK time, which is later today. But the update has been applied and it allows us to see all the challenges and so forth that this Bloody Harvest Halloween event will offer. So we will check them out today. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so after you've applied the update and you're back in the game, in Sanctuary, wherever, if you press back, you can see the very last tab uh, besides your guardian rank, I need to apply some of my guardian ranks to be honest, my guardian tokens. I've been stacking them, I don't know why, I just don't redeem them. But hey, on the end, there's a new thing called events, which we can see right here. And we've got here, Bloody Harvest Inactive. The souls of the damned are restless and super pissed off. It's Bloody Harvest in the Borderlands and the haunted enemies are appearing across the galaxy. Defeat them and the ghosts are possessing them and then take the fight to their evil master in the depths of heck. Uh, new cosmetics, new legendaries, and anointed loot with spooky terror effects. Terror is a new mechanic used by the forces of Heck to screw your weapon handling. But if you've got the right gear, you can turn terror against your enemies by buffing your damage, fire rate, and action skills. You can find haunted enemies in almost any location, but if you're looking for a fight, check out the circles of slaughter and areas like Lectra City and the Voracious Canopy. Find Morris on Sanctuary 3 to begin the Bloody Harvest. Now if we go across to Challenges people, we can see exactly what we can do here. And it seems to be there are four packages to unlock here. We've got one at four challenges completed, one at eight challenges completed, one at 12 challenges completed, and one at 15 challenges completed. And we can see the actual rewards here. For the four one, we get the Trinket, Shrunk and Dead. For the eight, we get the Echo Device, Heckle 3. For 12, we get if Spooks Could Kill which is a skin, and then for 15 we get a weapon skin, the Ghoul Metal Grey. And the challenges are as follows. An eye for quality heteroplasms. This you have to kill loot ghosts, 20 of these. Then we have Chaotic Good Cleric. Kill ghosts in Mayhem Mold, you need 500 of these. Charon's Toll. Collect Bloody Harvest Loot, you need 50 of these. Easy as Pumpkin Pie. Solve the Pumpkin Puzzle. Our Campion Phantasmal. Kill Haunted Our Dragon Jr. Pretty cool. Exorcist, kill haunted badasses, 150 of these. Friends don't die, kill haunted demo skagen. Heckraiser, loot a bloody harvest legendary. I am Rackman, kill haunted Rackman. Lawful good cleric, kill 250 ghosts. My boss has been ghosting me all week, 25, kill Captain Haunt. So we have to kill him 25 times, does that suggest? I think it does. Nate's Hostile, kill Haunted Bowman Nate's. Pumpkin Spiced, equip three pieces of Bloody Harvest loot at the same time. Pretty cool. Recap what you saw bro, kill Captain Haunt with a Bloody Harvest gun. Snowball's Chance in Heck, kill Haunted enemies with Cryo damage in the Heck hole. And guys, those are the actual challenges what we do here. 15 in total, and 15 if you complete all 15 of them, you get a weapon skin, Ghoul Metal Grey. So that's pretty epic people. So yes, this is what the update, uh, what you probably would have installed if you're watching this video consists of. Now the Bloody Harvest event, as it says there, is inactive at the moment, but it should land later on today. And guys, as per usual, as soon as this drops, you will find plenty of Bloody Harvest guides right here on my channel. So if you're new around here, and Borderlands is what you want to see more of, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you do enjoy the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.